being a tall building in London is a lonely business. But that's changing at last. At 88 Wood Street, Richard Rogers has come up with a spectacular monument to progressive transparency. A triple glazed, self-ventilating, see-through tower that from some angles hardly seems to be there at all. Originally commissioned by the Japanese banking giant Daiwa as their European headquarters, Wood Street fell empty when the Asian bubble burst and Daiwa had to downsize. Daiwa's loss will be somebody's immense gain. I'm one of those who thought the last thing the city needed was another office block, but this is different. <laughs> well, it's an office block, but it is an office block of such excellence that it makes everything else look second rate. It's the degree of attention to detail. It's an incredibly mature work. It's almost faultless in the way it's been thought out and put together. And the extraordinary thing is that it's created an atmosphere incredible in serenity. Look at the rain coming down and you're going up. Oh, God, it's just vintage Rogers, this building. I mean, it is incredible. And the, the quality of thought and design that has gone into this to achieve the kind of precision and perfection of every detail is phenomenal. If there's one thing this building hasn't got at the moment is any kind of hustle or bustle, it's empty. There is no one actually uh, using the building. So I think it's very deceptive how the building feels at the moment. It just looks really grand and it's like a, just like a giant sculpture or something. You, you've got no reality of how the building actually works apart from being overawed by its grandeur and its scale and how beautiful everything works. And it's kind of cheating really. So it's not just an ordinary office, it's something quite exceptional. We've been doing glass, glass offices in this country for sort of 40 or 50 years and you, know, you have to remember that this is a very well trodden path for architects and no wonder that you know, they're getting it right. A firm of the quality of Richard Rogers should be getting it right and if, you know, if they weren't there'd be something wrong. So I'm not, kind of, I'm not quite as passionate and um, you know, about to sort of swoon as, as some of the other people on the panel.